Do you know about the North Shore? Because I know a lot about it. It's a very small community. It's located in the outskirts of India and Coachella. It's right at the edge of the Salton Sea. Did you know that a long time ago the North Shore was flooded? Like there was a salt factory and then and then like all the water came rushing and it flooded it and all the salt, it like got spread from the water. And that's why it's the salt and sea. The idea for a park in North Shore really came after fully assessing the needs of North Shore. The residents went through an extensive process to really list all of the needs that they could think of. And it became clear very quickly that uh, a public space would allow us to address issues of environment, issues of food, uh, issues of recreation, all in one project. I think every community in the eastern Coachella Valley is unique and we are a firm believer that the community itself can define their problems far better than we can as outsiders. We do see common themes and those themes typically um, revolve around food, access to quality, nutritious, affordable food. Always there's a component um, around children, children's safety, children's activity, and there seems to be a big challenge around water. And so the park itself, uh, in many ways, looks like a regular park. It'll have a playground and outdoor fitness equipment and a pavilion for barbecues and family celebrations. But it'll also have these other layers of economic activity and arts and cultural activity. Biker pair shop. Entonces este es el pavilion donde va a tener, quizás van a tenemos el, um, el de la sombra y también del biker pair shop. We're helping design a five acre desert park with the North Shore community. In addition to all that, we're gonna have a bike hub. And what this bike hub's gonna consist of is a bike share program and a repair space. It's important to include a bicycle element because locations in North Shore are pretty far away. So bikes are really the key right here. Through our bike share program, we hope that we'll be able to connect the four different pockets of North Shore to each other and to this physical park. Hola, bienvenido. Buenas tardes. Ah, tenemos este nachos y tenemos raspados. Si gustas empezar con nachos o raspados o si con un raspado, okay, seguro que sí. Several of the women in the community have gone through an entrepreneurship training program to start small food-based businesses that will be part of a weekly marketplace that takes place in the park. For example, eh, hablar al condado, a ver qué se permite, qué no se permite, hacer un plan de negocios. Se ha ayudado mucho de no ser por el plan de negocios, este, tal vez no estuviéramos aquí porque no tuviéramos la orientación que necesitábamos para poder seguir adelante. We're calling it a productive public space because it's much more than just a recreational park. El programa en sí es, viene siendo, son tres partes, que es el grupo de las bicicletas, el grupo de los negocios y este grupo, esta clase que es de arte y no solo es esto, también hay adultos que están preparándose pa, también para exhibir. Our approach to the arts and cultural programming here in North Shore 
is to try to make the narrative about this community a lot more complex, to try to subvert the negative narratives that are associated with the community and really look at the historic, cultural and artistic wealth of the, of the residents. The One Night Gallery is a place where the residents of the community get to show their art, their theater, to share their poetry, to sing their songs, and really to share with the rest of the neighborhoods. We're a community right here. We've got an art gallery and music, and they're selling yogurt and enchiladas and other stuff, raspados. And um, I think this is a good thing we're doing right here in the community, because uh, to inspire young kids, well, I was kind of shy, but um, uh, I was invited to an event and I saw two young guys and they inspired me. So I started taking pictures and uh, it's like, I don't know, like, like something natural, I think, it came out. This is my daughter. It, it wanted to rain that day. It was like a lot of clouds and uh, I was walking out and my daughter followed me. And I see a lot of young kids right here and they're coming more every single time. It's a powerful showcase of the wealth of North Shore. El Progreso is a community newspaper. It features the voices of the community. It features their vision. Residents write it, they photograph it, they edit it, they imagine it, they dream it. Otra cosa quería hablar es sobre el periódico que tenemos aquí en North Shore, que es algo grande. Yo digo que este, este lugar sigue creciendo. El periódico nos va a ayudar a comunicarnos a uno al otro. A mí se me hace uh, bonito tener un, nuestro propio periódico aquí y va, nosotros vamos a ser responsables de nosotros poner los artículos que van a estar aquí. Yo digo que eso es muy bueno, bueno porque aquí vamos a saber como comunidad qué es lo que está pasando. It is the mirror of how vibrant this community is. All of this work to develop a network of artists is going to find a home in this park. The park is going to become a cultural hub, an economic hub, hub and a social hub for the community. Entonces, the program saca todo a flote todas las habilidades y todas las, um, estas cosas que tienen energéticas que a la gente le gusta ver. Es muy importante todo lo que está pasando. Nos pone en el mapa. I think if we can do all of those things and continue this great arts programming that uh, we are engaged in now, we will have succeeded in meeting the community's uh, hopes for the future of North Shore. La organización es importante porque es quien nos entrena, nos ayuda y nos dirige en cómo planear y desarrollar un buen parque. I think it's the combination of that, those physical amenities with the economic opportunities and the social programming that really make this productive public space something that will be impactful, fun, and really unique.